Hello people, and welcome to Not The OS. This is uh, Savior Zone, a new game that Manhattan has just come out with in uh, the same universe as TOS, I believe. Uh, this is a vampire survivors-like, I think, if I had to describe it, based on the gameplay I have seen. Uh, this is my first time playing it myself. You can uh, download this app just through the game, I think. Even in TOS, they're just doing some ads for it uh so let's check it out uh if you do certain saves in here you also get uh frames back in tos if you click on this button right here uh it says that uh when you complete certain stages you'll get certain frames i believe yeah right at the bottom there uh there are three frames that can be unlocked uh I don't think they have an English translation for this yet, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, hopefully uh, you can follow along with what I do uh, by just clicking the buttons. It, when we get into actual gameplay, I don't think uh, there'll be that much to uh, translate. Hopefully not anyway, but so let's get to it. So to tap, to start the game, you tap this button, one that says new, you choose your character. There's only one character right now. Uh, oh crap. Okay, well, I guess there's more to translate than I thought. Basically, it tells you that, uh, you know, as you play, you'll unlock more characters, and to uh, increase the character's rank on the top right-hand corner, you can spend uh, whatever currency that is. That looks like arena points, honestly. Uh, and your character will just, you know, have their stats increased. So right now, I can only choose Molly. He is B rank, so let's go ahead. Uh, and do stage 1-1. One, one. Okay, controls. Alright. Um, basically, your move stick's on the left. Your attack stick is on the right. So bottom left and bottom right. Resources are on the top right. Uh... Your gear is on the top left, and your character's HP is also on the top left. That's pretty self-explanatory. And the top bar is your current progress in the mission. Then you just have a load of uh, stuff that the enemies can drop. Basically different types of resources. And then when you level up, you can pick uh, weapons and states. What is this saying? It says states. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, you have a maximum of six of each. And you can't get more than that. And at the end, there'll be a boss. All right, fantastic. Let's get right into the gameplay itself. Uh, by the way, this uh, random orb here is uh, the ultimate ability, basically. Oh yeah, and to make the game a little easier, honestly, uh, tap the pause, tap uh, on the top left, and tap on this, like, auto-attack button. Because then it'll just auto-aim for you, and uh, you move around. Basically, it decreases the difficulty. I mean, it all depends what you want. I'm just gonna activate the alt right now. This game does have, like, some nice 3D animations, as you see right there. Okay, well, this is where... The lack of translation really sucks. Um, these are just all different types of weapons. The first one gives you an extra bullet on every attack. The second one gives you uh, five extra bullets on a cooldown. And the third one gives you an AoE of 10 seconds. I think I'm just going to do the double shot for now. And then, you know, see how that goes. This seems to be working pretty fine, but, you know, we're really just starting out right now. As you can see on the top left, there are two types of weapons that are already been equipped. Uh, your basic gun and the uh, hexagonal looking thing. It's kind of small on the screen, which is one thing that, you know, they might change, but then it'll overcrowd the screen, right? Which is, eh. Okay. But the first two uh, we've already seen last time. The third one is a when the enemy uh, dies, 
They drop a bomb. That might be good, honestly. Let's choose it. Or, no. Okay, I read that wrong. It's, like, behind me, it puts down a bomb. Any AoE is quite good, in my opinion, anyway, in these types of games. I haven't played that many. I also haven't actually played the actual Vampire Survivors. Which uh, might be a bit of a sin, depending on who you ask. Okay, I'm starting to not outscale the enemies. Alright, let's see. There's a crit rate times 5, I believe, what that is. We're just gonna, you know, do a triple shot. Keep leveling up the main weapon, I think. Okay, we're just leveling up like crazy. Um, let's see. The state, this state is a low chance to, uh, just ignore the enemy's attack and not take any damage. The third one is a bomb. Once again, some AoE. I think we're just going to choose that, uh, the weapon we already have and see what happens. I don't really want to, like, you know, put too many weapons on my person without, you know, and that, that'll just basically fill out my inventory, right? I, I don't really want to fill out my inventory that early. You know, I want to see what all the weapons do, what all the weapons are. This blue slime is just the only thing hitting me, honestly. But it doesn't seem to do that much damage, which is quite good. Okay, gonna get another level up. Let's go. Uh, I guess, I guess we'll, we'll do some crit rate stuff. There's not that much good stuff going on. Uh, the Madhead Balloon seems to be a bit of a misplay by me. I don't think it was that good. By the way, these stages seem to be set in, like, real-life uh, Taipei, I think. Well, this one is Taipei. I don't know if the other ones are Taipei. Maybe in, like, different parts of Taiwan. I don't know. Uh, this one... You get 8... That last day is HP up by 10%. I think I'm just gonna do the main weapon. This turns it into a quad shot. Just increase DPS. What is that over there? Okay, that's a vacuum. Very cool. Okay, now we're getting some other types of enemies. The gnomes from uh, the main game. In addition to the slimes. That's quite nice. Okay, and then we get a, a shot of five. And I believe I've maxed out my main weapon for now. Well, not for now. I think just in general. You get all these slowing fields around as well. Uh, so I think this will just like really speed up the farming process. Okay, another level up. Uh, what do we have here? I mean, I'll, I'll level up my secondary. But this actually, no, this is my sec. This is my alt. I, I just realized that your you, your character comes with a basic and an alt. So if I just activate the alt, I think it will be like way more powerful than before. I got a gift. Uh, what is this? This is a black hole type kind of weapon. I think that'll be good, especially because this my main weapon pierces. Okay, another present. Um, okay, this reduces my cooldown time for my alt for 10%, by 10%, sorry. I think that'll be quite helpful. Ow. If there is anything that can increase my movement speed, that would be pretty good. Uh, okay, this is an AoE. I'm not really sure... Fine, let's try it. Okay, this is like super close range. Which I guess will be good if the enemies like end up swarming me, which it seems like they will be. Like in the later stage of the game. Although I don't know if this is like the best character to do it for. If there are other characters that can do like melee attacks, that would probably be better for them. But then they probably don't get the same choices, right? So, I have no idea. Alright, what have we got? We have got... Uh... Okay, let's just do a summon that can uh, help me recover HP. Not that I need to recover HP, like, right now. Since I've only been hit by, like, a small amount of stuff. 
Hey, here's the first boss. Uh, I can't really tell which character this is supposed to be. I just took a hit. Hey, he dropped. I don't know what he dropped. He just dropped the freaking black hole. Ow. Is that the boss as well? Shooting brooms. Who the hell is this? Okay, once again, have any movement speed buffs would be very nice. Okay, this guy dropped a present this time. Right now we've gotten to the 75% mark of the level. I'm not sure if uh, the previous parts will be a sped up or cut out. That'll be up to uh, editing me to decide in the future. But uh, yeah, as you can see, probably see this game is a little bit monotonous. You know, once you get like, the hang of it. And also once you filled out uh, all your weapon slots. I still have some uh, status spots. But uh, yeah, it's just keep upgrading your stuff. You know, keep collecting stuff, and then wait for the uh, boss to throw at 100%, I guess.
Okay, the mic with area effect is actually pretty good. Because uh, once I waited to max, the area is actually quite a bit larger than uh, what you start out with. Which makes sense. It's just the initial one kind of sucks. So, yeah. You know what actually sucks? The Mad Head Balloon's behind me. Usually the enemies... Well, the enemies don't move as fast as me, right? Even though I would like a movement speed buff. So, I don't think they really are getting hit by uh, the Mad Head Balloon. So that's not very good. Uh, we're pretty much nearing the uh, boss stage. It's getting a lot more chaotic. There's a lot of stuff on screen. This is just how uh, Vampire Survivors games go. I'm not sure if anyone's come with a name for these. Uh, this genre. I'm pretty sure there actually is. I'll put it up on screen if I remember and if I find it and if it exists at all. Alright, the boss has appeared. Where are you? Let me freaking alt you. Are, are you with the boss? The big slime? <laughs> he just looks like a regular slime. Or a regular slime but big rather, you know? Anyway. Oh, okay. Here. Okay, well. Wasn't much of a boss. Sage clear. Very nice. Uh, missions? Oh. I see. Alright. I have unlocked a uh, Shroy and got a bunch of gold. Okay, it seems like by maxing out uh, different types of weapons, you get uh, some achievements. And... Yeah. You got achievements for failing as well? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, the music for this game also comes from uh, TOS itself, which... I mean, hopefully... I don't know if they want to change in the future, right? Maybe? Uh... But yeah, that was the first stage. Um... Let me know what you think of this game if you want to see more of it. I'll probably be checking more of it myself. I'll probably be checking more of it out myself anyway. Just to, you know, get the frames and see what this game is about. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this is kind of a different video. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, please leave a like if you liked it. Uh, and if you have anything to say, leave it down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya!